Yeah, I won't wait. <laughs> oh, well, oh, look, 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 look out. Well, here, here, here I come. Ready or not. <laughs> Ta-da! May I introduce myself? I am Seymour S. Sassafras and Company. This is the Seymour S. Sassafras, and this is the company. <laughs> I am a peddler by trade, by trade and by golly, by golly, by golly. I deal in magic and moonbeams and pretty, pretty colors. Oh, yes, I can sell you the most perfect pink, or the most blissful blue, or a simply euphoric yellow. <laughs> that, of course, is why I'm here in April Valley, delivering all these colors to Peter Cottontail, so he can paint his Easter eggs, you know. What? You say you've never been to April Valley before? Well, that's okay. I'll show you around. This way, please. Now, you see? April Valley's where all the Easter bunnies live and work. Oh, yes. Ah, April Valley's finest candy carvings. Meet Milk Chocolate Angelo and Leonardo the Bittersweet. <laughs> and over there is the famous Easter Bunny Bonnet Foundry. Now, of course, it's all very nice here, thanks to Peter Cottontail. Hmm? You never heard of Peter Cottontail? Great chattering chick chicks! They've never heard of Peter Cottontail! They've never heard of Peter Cottontail? Why, he's the number one chief Easter bunny around here. See? He, you... You mean you never heard how he almost lost the job? <sighs> You actually mean you never heard how a terrible, wicked, nasty rabbit named Iron Tail almost became the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Montresor! Montresor! If you peek into this magic egg, you'll see the whole story just as it happened. Peter was just a young whippersnapper, sort of a junior Easter bunny. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hopping, Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. 